Ready to go. In 2005, when Rover collapsed, 6,000 people lost their jobs. The community was dependent upon Longbridge. That required a response from the whole of the further education sector in Birmingham and the wider region. We led that response as a college. And we determined very early on that the most significant move we could make was to relocate the college down to Longbridge. This college represents the anchor from which the whole development has sprung. Looking back on this project, it's um, had many en uh, engineering interests for me. The ground conditions on this site were quite challenging. The site actually spans a geological fault with less materials being used and less steel being used and less CO2. What it shows is that we aren't just investing in Birmingham in the city centre core, we're actually investing around Birmingham. And as you can see, there's still a lot of regeneration going on around the college. Even though the college is completed, we still have the new heart for Longridge to, to construct and all the other facilities which have been proposed. When you go back in time, it wasn't always like this. When we look at the days when the Cabri family started this entire crazy adventure we call Bourneville College. My grandfather's vision was that he would be able to address the problems that he saw for himself in Birmingham. And the problem of education was, was key. So he was the inspiration for the founding and building of the Day Continuation School at Bourneville. It was his inspiration and it was put into effect with the youngsters from Bourneville being able to go to school once a week with time off from work and that was uh, an experiment which many, many other people then followed. But his was the first example of doing that. The values of the Day Continuation School were around the opportunity for youngsters to achieve their potential in many, many ways. They had the potential to do much more in business. They had the potential to take more responsibility. They had the potential to have uh, much more fulfilling working lives and personal lives. Indeed, I can remember actually one evening when I was over here, uh, I met a uh, chap who used to be a Bourneville pupil and he had met George Cadbury. And George Cadbury said to him, how are they getting on in the swimming baths? And this chap had said to him, uh, well, it's all right, but when the, in the light nights, they, they don't turn up very much. And George Cadbury said, well, we'll have to give them day release. And that was the start of, effectively, Bourneville College, Bourneville School as it was. And I attended Ruskin Hall and Day Continuation College 60 years ago. And these are a few of my, my memories from there. We were um, in the netball team, we were raring to go there. And this is myself with f three friends. We went to Bournemouth on a holiday with, with the college. When I worked at Cadbury's and I actually left to get married and I was presented with this Bible and an inscription from Brendan Cadbury himself. I think the college was a very special place for students because at the time that I worked here, we were able to give people a second chance. People who perhaps failed at school or things had gone wrong for them, we were able to give them a second chance, enable them to succeed, go to university, and I, I think possibly enrich their lives. The values of the college stemmed very much from the philanthropy of the Cadbury family. 
the emphasis that people matter tremendously. The second uh, chance translated into our massive influx, as it, as it happened, of uh, ex-school people to come to us full time. We insisted on the vocational element. I mean, it became a passion eventually. We didn't like turning anybody away, even though that meant that there were some people struggling, you know, at the lower levels. Bourneville was the first college that was looking at introducing courses for students with special needs, and that was my job when I was there. But also the inclusiveness that Bourneville engenders and the values and respect it holds for everybody is something I hope that has taken me right the way through my career to where I am today. I came here in 1982. When I came here with very little in the way of academic qualifications, I, uh, I had to do the O levels and A levels here and the teachers here did have uh, aspirations for me and I think that gave me some confidence in my own abilities. I didn't get the grades I needed in maths particularly at school and I wanted to do medicine, I knew I wanted to do that and I had to get a grade A. So um, I came to Bourneville, got the grades I needed, went on to medical school and I'm now a consultant psychiatrist working not that far away from here actually. Grew up in Birmingham uh, in a very multicultural environment, went to secondary school in a different type of area, had challenges around racism, around exclusion. I dealt with that and uh, got through it. I came here and studied physics, economics and geography, inspirational teachers uh, and a really fun time. Uh, after that I was involved in different types of work around regeneration, renewal, working with different communities and got to my present position as a professor in community cohesion at Coventry University. Uh, it's been a journey that I couldn't have made, really, without the support I got from this place. While I was here, I met some great people and uh, I was very friendly with Jane and, and Harris, who are friends to this day. So I think all of us collectively can really thank Bourneville. What's exciting on the fifth floor is the, the roof as it cantilevers past the edge of the building, uh, some 13 metres. Now to add architectural drama to that, what we've done is actually insert a four metre diameter hole into that roof just above the balcony. So what you see as you look up is not just the roof itself but the sky and the building uh, is open to the sky and the fact that that happens creates a great sense of architectural drama both at ground and at fifth floor. We always wanted a building that would engage people and challenge them and it's doing that which is wonderful and internally and externally the students are making it their own, they're finding spaces that they can inhabit, they can do what they like in those spaces and that's what the building was always about, it's about the people, about the students that use it uh, and then making it their home which you know you can see now that they're doing which is wonderful which we're thrilled with and we're absolutely delighted about. New Bourneville College is a great place, it's got loads of new facilities like the gym, the library, the hair salon, you can all get things like discount prices like the gym and get your hair done cheaper as well. Oh, well I really love the music technology courses, the music area, everything to do with that music sector, performing, performing with bands, we've got a group of friends and my colleagues, my teachers, we have a great laugh and we're all good friends about it. You can learn different cultures at the same time that you learn English. Because it's new, it means like making a fresh start so I could continue to excel or even try harder to reach my goal and plus I can make new friends. Having a vision and seeing that being translated by people who are fully involved in terms of the whole project and articulating that in this wonderful structure was a really thrilling experience for all of us.